things that I absolutely love to drink in the morning is this prime stuff or body armor or anything. Basically 16 ounces of hydration right away in the morning really helps to get woken up and helps me get super <laughs> primed. <laughs> this is not a product placement for the rest of the day. Pretty good. We'll call this uh, morning toilet talk. Um, one of the other things that I have been doing every morning as well is getting a checklist going for the day. This is blank. I'll show you what mine looks like at when I'm finished getting it kind of put together. And basically what it is, is a checklist of things that I have to do over the course of the day. Some of Sometimes it's just training stuff. A lot of the times it has to do with business or things outside of YouTube uh, so that I can really focus on, hey, I've got X amount of hours in the day outside of my normal training routine and then it really helps to get that other stuff done. So let's hop into kind of an overview of the morning routine. sweatshirt and shorts just for the morning and I'll show you guys what I bring to training. Hello and welcome to episode 139 of the Boot Nerds podcast. <laughs> breakfast you guys know eggs fruit that's kind of the move for me right now keeps it light but also keeps it really nutritious and gives me tons of energy for the training session it is 7 42 in the morning right now and i am currently watching the boot nerds podcast unisport collabed with puma to create this really cool barbershop boot I'm really bummed. There's only 300 pairs in the world, so I'm probably not gonna get my hands on a pair. However, I do think it would be a very, very sick pair of boots to wear in a match. But what I did wanna show you is a very special pair. And this pair will be coming to the channel in the next video, so stay tuned on Thursday of this week. I will be dropping a review. You guys get a bunch of boot content today because I've got these special edition Audi Zero F50s coming on Thursday for a review. And then next week, I've got an even more special review coming, a custom pair of football boots. And then the week following, you guys will see the video uh, that I post the next Thursday about a pair of boots that I'm actually getting today from my friend Charles at Halt's Boots, who I've mentioned before. And they, those are goat status boots. Goat status boots. Also, for those wondering, my morning supplement blend is, I've got a really bad allergy to pollen, so I take a 
Zyrtec or Claritin or something. I've got bone marrow and I've got minerals, like a mineral blend and then vitamin D. So those are the things that I take. Uh, for those wondering what bone marrow is, basically what it does is it really helps solidify bone fractures and keeps your bones super healthy and strong. And for somebody who broke their foot, like myself, it's really, really great. And it actually feels awesome. Uh, really helps with stability of legs, stress fractures, all that stuff. And it really uh, helps. I get the one from Ancestral Supplements, I think it's called. It's just on Amazon. So that's that's been super helpful. It was recommended to me by my my doc, my DOC, my DR dot, one of those. One thing you really can't forget on days like today is sunscreen. Michigan heat is no freaking joke. Not bad. Yo, what a day to be training. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, welcome to uh, Michigan Summers, hey? Ooh, there she is. Okay, gotta listen to the engine, eh? Here we go. Woo! Oh, oh, what a sound. Not the best sound in the world, but it's one of my favorites. If you didn't know, I absolutely love cars. I love driving. Driving's like one of my favorite things. Great way to clear my head. And it's a great way to transfer it myself to practice, you know? <laughs> we talk about practice. Hypervenom ones. Show me your pair. Oh much my better. God. All right guys, so we are out at the pitch here at Oakland University. Uh, it ended up being actually a pretty big group. We got, instead of two or three guys, there's now eight dudes, potentially nine or 10, which will be fantastic. So we're gonna get a good session in, lots of small-sided stuff, some technical pieces, and then we might work on some finishing and then for sure do 4v4 and then some 2v2v2v2, 2 v2 2 v2, I think is the way to go. So enjoy the session. All right, fam, so the first drill that you're seeing right now is basically setting up a wall perpendicular to the goal. So if the goal is here, the wall is this way, and I'm playing the wall turning, getting a really sharp Cruyff turn or turn with the outside of my foot, pass against the wall, check my shoulder, turn towards the flag, around the flag, bounce it against the wall again, big open up turn, and then I've got two cones about a meter inside each of the posts on the goal, and then I'm trying to hit those posts. So that's it's a very basic drill, but it really encourages you to do short, sharp movements, and it's a solo drill, which makes it really easy to get tons of different touches, dribbling, first touch, pass it, longer range passing, all in one individual drill. Enjoy.
right guys, so um, I gotta be honest, the people who, Charles is great and Charles is a good player and stuff, but um, the players who came with him were just not at a level where I would get any sort of workout in. So I've opted to go do my own thing and then Charles will join me in a little bit when he's done with some of those guys as well. So sometimes it's just like, I'm getting ready for trials. I have to be super sharp and I'm not interested in playing with people who are much more like rec players than they are like even semi-professional players. So I think for me, it's about really taking the opportunity and just being like, you know what, I just need to do my own thing or get more of a workout, more of uh, important touches in that sort of environment and move on from there. So that's the vibe. The second drill that I did was all focused on form of receiving a ball to get into a 1v1 to a shot. So it's really easy. I'm juggling the ball just a couple times popping it up above my head, taking it down, playing the bench or a wall, if you have a wall, and then taking my touch sideways, turning towards the goal, 1v1 against the defender, going inside, and then I did outside. Um, and then we got into some crossing and shooting afterwards, which I didn't get film footage of because I was sort of flustered from the rest of the session, if you know what I mean. So I was just trying to focus on myself, get the session done, make sure that my mindset was really good going into the lift in a little bit. Yeah, look at those. Woo! Hypervenom ones. Never gonna be worn. <laughs> All right guys, so I think the thing that I wanna make very clear, um, I'm about to head to the gym, but for me, it's really, really important to be and feel like I'm training in an environment that's getting me better. And I know there's definitely an argument for everything's gonna make you better, you know, no matter who you're playing against, no matter what, but when I'm in a focus mode, it's very, very important. And this may not be for you guys. This, your, your, your mindset may be something different than this, um, but mine is definitely that I wanna play with high caliber players who can actually make a straight pass, who know the weight of the pass and all that stuff because that's what's gonna get me prepared for another contract where it's gonna be very similar, right? Everybody's gonna know how to play the ball on the ground. Everybody's gonna know how to play a correctly weighted pass with technique and all that stuff. So it's very important, again, just to make sure, for me at least, that I'm playing with the highest caliber players. Otherwise, I'll just train on my own and, and get, you know, 
good touches in, especially if I can hit it off a bench or hit it off a wall, that's even better. So I'm gonna head to the gym right now, enjoy myself with a little lower body lift, and then we'll get home. It's almost noon already, so I uh, spent a lot of time out here at the pitch just getting some touches in and uh, enjoy myself. Hope you guys enjoyed those hypervenoms too. Big, lots of videos on those coming as well. And since moving here, I've joined an LA Fitness, which is great because they got a pool, so I can do tons of recovery stuff. And it's, uh, yeah, it's actually quite a decent gym. They've got like all the equipment that I would ever need, other than maybe a turf strip. But I can kind of deal with that because they have carpet in most of the gym, so I can do, I can like pull sleds and stuff on the carpet. So I got a GoPro. I'm gonna bring the GoPro in here and show you guys what I do for my lower body lift for today. Workout is over. I'm gonna head back to the house and get some food. It is currently 2.07, so it's actually almost pretty late for lunch. We're gonna have an early dinner tonight, I think, to get to bed, get more sleep, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll touch base with you guys and I'll show you guys those uh, hypervenoms when I get home. Getting the car washed. How's it going? Uh, the works, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, if you're like me and spent any time in a car wash as a kid, we used to go through these car washes with my dad and my two younger siblings, and we used to have Def Leppard and Prince playing blaring in the background, and it was one of my fondest childhood memories. So every time I go through a car wash like this, I'm always thinking about Purple Rain and When Doves Cry and... What's the other one? One of the Def Leppard songs, and I can't remember what it's called. You Give, uh, you give Love a Bad Name, that's Bon Jovi. Oh my goodness. Ah, one of the Def Leppard songs. Anyway, fun times. I always feel like I go, when I go out, especially when I'm filming, and I'm going from the gym, or the pitch, to the gym, and then home, I'm always carrying like four different backpacks. And we're on the third floor, so. Get my stairs in too, baby. I put this battery in to the camera, turned the like one that it was in the new, the satchel thing, put it in and it was at 1%. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? Can you not? Yeah, can you not? Excuse my. Oh my god, there's a turtle right there. What? Look. Oh! It's a little turtle. He's like fucking neck in it. That's like a legit turtle. That's a pretty big one. I mean, he's probably that big. Oh my god. That's so weird. Did you think it was just a little floating rock? Yeah, I was like, oh. And of course you're, oh, look at that. Oh! 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so very, very cool pair of football boots. So excited. I'm actually considering thoughts on, down in the comment section below, thoughts on blacking out the green. So it'll be just black and white and they'll be, they'll look super custom with the silver tongue and obviously the, the sole plate as well. I'll do a full review on these ones in a little bit. Not gonna talk too much about them if you know what I mean, but super stoked. So thank you to Halt's Boots. You know where to find him at Halt's underscore boots. Go from there. Uh, lunch is gonna be, it's already 3.15. So I'm kinda in that mode of like, don't eat too much, but you gotta get calories in. So I'm gonna do a Go Macro Bar, which are awesome. And then I got a breast of chicken with this salad, this cold noodle salad that's made with protein pasta, asparagus, asparagus, and some mushrooms. Put some salt in there. And then I'm gonna have, oh, I forgot my water bottle, but I've got a ton of water that I'm gonna do with some, mixed in with some coconut water and stuff. So good things, gonna get some work done. One of my favorite things to do during the course of the day is check off all this stuff. So technical session, check. More of an X mark, I like X's instead of checks. Just like, boom, done, you know? Okay, lower body lift, bam. Now I have some mobility, which I did part of in the sauna, so I'll give it a half check there, and then I'll finish it later today, get some foam rolling, all my other recovery things, if you will. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to edit the boot review that I've got a very special custom pair of boots coming while they're here. They're actually right over there. They're like 10 feet away from me, but I'm not gonna show them in this video because they are extra, extra, extra special. And yeah, that's all you're gonna know. So I'm gonna edit that video soon. And then I think that might be it for the day, honestly. I may end up leaving some of the other stuff for tomorrow just because it's one of those things when you're self-employed, this is something actually to think about when you think about training. Uh, let's get into this particular topic because I think this will actually be really helpful for some people. Okay, so if you're like me and there's ever moments in your training day or in your in your life where you, as athletes, we always want to do the most, right? We always want to be the first in the sprints. We always want to do one extra. Nick Bear, one of my favorite YouTubers, has the slogan, go one more. And I think footballers are especially adept at doing one more, right? It's one more sprint, one more rep. Uh, we always end on the last top corner shot or free kick, right? Everything is, yeah, in order to do do more, but also it's a, it's a it's a competitiveness thing, and a lot of that comes from people being internally competitive. And for me, it's very very difficult sometimes to rein myself back and say, okay, I don't need to be going crazy in the gym or crazy on the pitch every single day. Today was an today was a perfect example of that mentality coming out. And basically what I mean by that is the frustration that I had in the very beginning of the session and I'll I you probably only saw maybe a minute worth of the rondo clips that I got from at least the session with those seven other guys. I'll say six other guys cuz Charles is is totally game to play anytime and he's he's a he's a decent player. So that's great. Um but the frustration that I had with playing with players who were not even a recreational level, uh, and those those were actually a few youth club players as well who were kind of okay. Um, and that's again, this is not I'm not to, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm just saying there are hierarchies to most things, and this is one of those things. I need training at the top level. They were not providing that, so I'm going to move on. Done and dusted. However, some of that frustration that I had came from me thinking in my head oh my God, I'm getting worse because this one training session isn't giving me the soreness in my legs that I usually have. That's, that's bullshit. That's total, that's total BS. I'm getting better every time I touch the ball. Yeah, I wanna play at game pace. Yeah, I wanna do things at a speed that would be relevant and relative to a professional environment, but I'm also okay to take days that aren't as intense. And that's the difference in that mindset. And so now when you put it in relation to a checklist, a checklist is awesome because what it does is it keeps me who's 
I'm a very busy brained person. I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. I'm, I've got tons of different projects that I'm working on outside of football that are to help the personal brand, to do all that kind of stuff. But when I look at a checklist, I'm like, oh, I gotta finish it today. But it's Friday and I've worked really hard this week and I've gotten tons of stuff done. I'm ahead of my schedule on videos and I wanna go have dinner with my wife and hang out. And I think that's what's gonna happen. Well, maybe we'll play video games, maybe we'll do something else, watch a movie, whatever. But the point is, sometimes it's okay not to finish your checklists and it's really important to be okay with not finishing those checklists sometimes. Sometimes you just have to, okay, cool, move them to the next day and we'll move forward. Sometimes obviously you have to, but in this case, I'm picking my moment to say, you know what, I'm gonna get one of these things done and then the rest can, can wait until later on. It's an interesting perspective. Let me know what you think. All right, time for some dinner. We're making shrimp tacos, which I'm very excited about. Shrimpies. Shrimpies. <laughs> Tortillas, <laughs> some guacamole, <laughs> cabbage, tomatoes, onion. <laughs> Absolutely stunning evening. Michigan sunsets are the absolute best. They are so beautiful. Almost as good as Walla Walla, Washington, which is where I went to college, as you guys know, Whitman, little D3 school in wine country. They're almost as good. And my wife and I are gonna go on a drive with the top down, which is one of my favorite things to do in the evenings when it's a little bit breezy, a little bit cool, and it's just warm enough to put a sweatshirt and sweats on and um <laughs> Are you come on <laughs> yeah cutie all right here we go oh. evening drive oh yeah <laughs> so fun The video is pretty much over. We're just having a nice evening drive. It's 9.30 at night. I don't have my watch, but yeah, 9.30. And it's just nice to get some fresh air right before bed. Helps you sleep better. <laughs> oh my God, my face is so skewed. Yeah, it is, <laughs> especially at the edge. <laughs> wow, you're getting a really good shot. The, the light is really nice. To be yeah, fair. look, it is good. Yeah, that's a really nice shot. I thought you were being sarcastic. No, no, no. I was like <laughs> looking at it going, oh my god, this is like super cinematic. Yeah. Uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of our evening driving and hanging out. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.